Hey, welcome back. So, uh, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is, I was about halfway through the third tutorial and realized I was messing up the video recording. So, um, instead of going back and redoing everything, like undoing everything I did so that I could redo it for the tutorial, I just kept going, put it all in a plugin, and put it on GitHub. The link is in the description. Uh, just for an example, I'll just show you how it works right now. Uh, theoretically, everything's working the way it should. It's not a, a true third, or excuse me, true first person. It's like a normal FPS where it's attached to the camera. Um, but yeah, all these weapons should be working. Yep. So there it is. Um, there's a few things I want to change and upgrade, like the uh, the first person, excuse me, the ADS. I want to make it, you know, like a proper ADS with a scope and everything, or for the pistol, looking down the sights. Those are all cosmetic, though. This is, it's it's working properly as it stands right now. So, um, right now I'm going to show you how you can get this working in your project. Let's go over to my uh, GitHub, the Afoot Lyra extension. Download the code. All right. Uh, unzip it. Open up this Lyra extension main. Copy the Afoot Lyra FPS folder. Go into your project. Uh, plugins. Game features. That's where you drop it. Paste it right in here. Uh, now, theoretically, theoretically, um, everything should work out of the box. It'll pop up right here without you having to check anything. It'll be the first plugin. If it doesn't, go over to your plugins folder. Uh, it's edit plugins, um, game features, and it should be right here. Just check it and restart. All right. As soon as you do, open up the map because uh, my map is the only one that loads all of the classes need needed for uh, first-person characters. And since it's a game feature, it doesn't actually augment, excuse me, it doesn't change anything that's in your regular shooter core, anything else in Lyra, the content, nothing else. And I had to, <laughs> I had to change quite a bit to get this working properly. And uh, again, there's still some bugs. And uh, if you can help, help me find them and let me know, that'd, that'd be great. Um, or if you have any suggestions, I'm going to make a, a couple of videos that explain if you want to add your own weapons specifically with first person in this plugin, it's a little bit different. Uh, you have to change some of the, or do some different things with the animations. It's nothing super complicated, but you just need to know about it if you're going to do it yourself. So uh, anyhow, I hope this is helpful. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.